The space shuttle, which was an incredibly uh, incredible vehicle and could do many, many different jobs, was limited in where it could go to low Earth orbit. So missions uh, from about 150 to 300 miles above our Earth's surface and we were always in the proximity of the Earth. What the Orion program is gonna do, along with our sister program, the Space Launch System, it's gonna allow humans to once again travel beyond low Earth orbit and explore farther out destinations. For example, we could return to the moon, we can explore asteroids, and eventually we'll build up the capabilities that will allow humans to travel to other planets such as Mars. Since it has to fly beyond low Earth orbit, and it also has to to allow humans to live and work and survive for longer durations, the durations that it's gonna to take to get to these further destinations. It drives a number of, of, of different uh, systems and there are a number of different challenges. For example, in low Earth orbit, uh, the radiation environment is, is less because the Earth's atmosphere shields some of the, radi some of, some of the radiation events. Once we, once we travel beyond low Earth orbit, the crew will be exposed to larger amounts of radiation. So we have to design both the crew protection systems and our electronic systems to withstand this radiation. Um, the, the spacecraft's life support system has to be able to work and to keep the crew uh, alive for, for longer durations than, than the shorter low Earth orbit uh, missions. And because we're flying so far away, uh, and it will take longer to both get there and return home, the spacecraft has to be more robust uh, to make sure that the crew can return safely.